Hey YouTube. Um, well, it's been like two months since I last made a video, and I'm really sorry about that. But um, there's some reasons for it. It's one is you know I'm a new mom now, and um, my daughter gets in everything, and so I'm always chasing her around, doing stuff with her, and you know, so. Sometimes I'm so exhausted and I'm just like, ugh, I don't feel like making a video. Um, other reasons is because uh, our main computer, our desktop, um, r started to get really, really slow. And when I upload a video now, because I can only upload it on that uh, computer because our laptop now um, would upload them, but I lost my camera cord to put pictures, videos, uh, so I can't hook it up to my laptop and put them on there so I have to um, take out my memory card and put it in our old desktop um, computer because our laptop doesn't have like a place where you can put the memory card. So I put it on there it takes me like three hours to upload a YouTube video that, you know, like however long this YouTube video it could be like a ten minute YouTube video. And uh, I have to keep going and checking on it and, you know, moving the mouse because if it falls asleep it doesn't upload it, so I'm constantly, you know, that's, that's hard to um, keep up with that, you know, especially with a little baby around. And, um, I don't know, I just, sometimes I don't know what to say, and uh, I, I have so much to talk about now. And I don't know, I've been getting, you know, a couple comments um, on my page saying, you know, I really like your videos, um, I hope that you continue to keep making them. And people are being blessed by them, you know, because it's God, um, it's God's wisdom, not mine. But I just feel like, okay, even if it takes three hours to upload, I'm going to be making these videos. Um, probably not as frequently as I used to, but, you know, I hope to make at least one a week or one every other week, something like that. Not going two months anymore. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I just... This is my main ministry, is reaching out to people on YouTube, um, and, you know, I have a Facebook, reaching out to people on Facebook, and, um, so I don't want to let it, uh, disappear or anything like that, so, um, yeah, I, I want to keep, keep making videos and stuff, but, um, you know, a lot of things have changed with me, um, not, you know, regarding, you know, I still have the same strong faith and everything, but, um, actually getting down to the nitty gritty truth, mm -hmm. and, um, today society is, you know, modern Christianity, I don't believe that the modern Christianity that we have today is the same as it was, um, in Christ's day, um, in the Apostles' day, and me and my husband have been taking this journey, um, for several months now, and just learning so much, and trying to come out of the world even more. Because you think when you're a Christian, you're, you're, you know, you're set apart. But to be set apart is to truly be set apart. It's not to just, oh, I'm a Christian, call myself a Christian, and profess Christ, you know, and, and read the Bible and, and do all those things. But it is about truly, like, coming out of the world, like, separating yourself. I mean, it, it's, it's down at the core. It's really deep. And, you know, and it has to be a condition of the heart. Your heart has to change before, you know, you do any of this stuff for God. And, you know, I've changed even more my mindset of modesty and, um, you know, the Sabbath day. Celebrating the Sabbath on Saturday um, because that is the true Sabbath. And the Sabbath was changed many years ago um, to a Sunday. And so many things have been changed and they're not biblical and for some people this is hard to hear. For me, it was very hard to hear at first to switch over my tradition. Um, and, you know, it's so hard to come out because the things that we do, you know, celebrating certain holidays that aren't biblical, um, to come out of those, it's hard at first because you have people and family around you persecuting you and not understanding and it's hard not to, you know, truly offend people. It's hard not to say, oh, well, you're not a Christian since you celebrate that, you know. That's not what it's about. It's just coming out of the world and doing what you do for God. And it's not about, you know, crushing anybody else, but, you know, hoping that they will learn, you know, um, by setting an example. And um, 
I'll have many videos on separate topics of just different things that me and my husband have been on a journey. And, you know, separating yourself with modern Christianity saying, oh, we don't need the Old Testament anymore, we just need the New Testament. No, the Bible is one whole long book, and I believe, you know, now that um, we are saved by Christ's blood, Yeshua, um, which is, you know, I call him Yeshua, um, that's Jesus, and, um, but then obeying him and obeying all his commandments, obeying all the law, and the law is the first five books in the Torah. And there are many things that I still am learning and am going to learn, and just little transitions that I'm making, um, especially in modesty. I've had, uh, I felt I've been pretty modest, you know, ever since becoming a Christian, but it hasn't been like what it is now. You know, switching no pants, no shorts, no, um, short skirts anymore. Um, it's just long skirts. And I do it to glorify God. Um, not myself. And no more makeup. Um, you know, I'm not saying all this to say, oh, this is what I do, this is what I do, this is what I do. It's, it's, it's a change of heart. And I'm just saying all this because um, just to maybe encourage people out there and maybe touch someone else and, you know, the Holy Spirit convicts you in your heart by what I'm saying and to research it for yourself. You know, just don't take anybody's word for it. Research it. Read your Bible. Open your Bible and truly read it. Don't just read the New Testament and not the Old Testament. It is all for us. And um, celebrating the true feast days, you know, Passover, Pentecost, um, Yom Kippur, um, Tabernacles, um, Rosh Hashanah, all these things, um, these are the feasts and the apostles celebrated them too and we've just grown away from it by church traditions and um, traditions of men and what men say goes. No, it's what Yahweh says, Yahweh God. It's what He says goes and if you really, really study the Bible you will see a lot of eye-opening things about the things that you know, modern Christianity celebrates today that are very unbiblical and um, some pagan roots. But uh, I gotta go because my daughter um, is waking up from her nap. But just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and talk to you guys later. Bye.